Okay, hello everyone. Um, today we are going to be discussing things to note while preparing for PCTME. You're, you know um, JAM is already done and the next phase for you students is to be preparing for your PCTME. So that is why we've prepared this video to really guide you um, in terms of your preparation. Okay, so we're going to be discussing how to calculate your final screening score. Yet, remember you are not just going to be graded only on your PCTME. Your school is going to be considering several factors. This includes your um, your JAM score, your PCTME score, and um, your WIRC result. So there is a formula to calculate this final screening score. So it is very important you follow this video to the end so that you can get to understand how to calculate your final score. This will guide you to make you know how you can know if you're really going to get admission in that school if you can compete with the other likes of students. Okay, secondly, we're also going to be talking um, about how you can prepare for your post-TME, um, how you can tips on how to stay smart and prepare for your post-TME. Then um, finally, we're still going to be talking about screening methods of your school of choice. Yes, several schools have several screening methods, so it's very important you understand the screening methods for your own school. Okay, so um, I really want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel because um, we're going to be releasing a video of how people who scored low between 100 and 200 can get admission into federal schools without paying a dime. Several federal schools are going to consider a whole lot of people with low scores. Now the truth is, if you know those federal schools, you can at least do your change of cost, um, change of institution to them and write them and I can bet you there are plenty of them. I can tell you some of them, schools like Federal Investi Utueke, Federal Investi Guzal, those are, there are about 15 of them. So I'm going to be preparing a video. So if you want to get this information in the next two days, please click the subscribe button. Okay. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is how to calculate your final screening score. Now, to cal calculate your final screening score, there are several things you need to consider. One of them is you need to consider your UTME score. Your UTME score is going to be graded as 15%. Now, it's very important you know this because that will let you know how to prepare and that will let you know how to know your own cutoff so that when the school sets their standard, you will know whether you qualify or not. Then secondly, um, the next thing that's going to be considered is your WIAC result, which is being graded as 20%. Then lastly, your post score is going to be graded as 30%. Yes, yeah, several schools have their own choice. Some schools don't consider WIAC. They just consider the UTME and the post -UTME. So which is then, they make it 50-50. Uh, then some other schools just consider the UTME and they don't consider anyone. But the standard is the UTME, the WIAC and the post -UTME. So there is a way to collect all these scores and finally know your score because your final score is going to be 100%. So you really need to know how to calculate this. And we are going to be showing you an example of how you can calculate this. Okay, so how do you know, calculate, get your UTME and your post -UTME result? Okay, so the first thing you need to know is UTME is graded by your score divided by 8. Now, you know that the maximum score anybody can have in JAM is 400. Now, when you divide it by 8, you get the maximum percent the person can get, 50%. Which means, for instance, if I actually scored 200 in my JAM result, then that means I'll be doing 200 divided by 8, and that will give me, what, 25%. So, you need to understand this. Then, secondly, you need to understand that your post I mean, whatever score you get, is rated in terms of 30%. So, let's assume... It's so like in Unilag, it's scored over 30, so already it's 30%, so you don't need to adjust it. For some schools who gives you scores over 100, maybe who grade you something like 67 over 100, you need to do 67 over 100 times 0 0.3, and that will give you your score in 30%. Then, um, WIAC is 20%, like we said. Now, the WIAC has a grading tool published by the school. That's why it's very important you do very well in your WIAC. Now, if you watch here, it says in the system of scoring, A1 is what? 4.0, B2 is 3.6, B3 3.2, C4 2.8, C5 is 2.4, and C6 is 2.0. So now you can now see that the higher grade you get in your WIAC, the better your chances. And mind you, you have to get all this at one sitting. Please endeavor to get all this at one sitting. If you've not written your work, please take it very seriously. You can now see that A1 is very important, not just getting C6. 
Imagine if you get A1s into 5 places, that means you got the maximum score, which is like 20. That's 4 times 5, that's 20. So it's very important. So we're going to be giving you a live example, um, a real example of a student who got an actual score of Jam, Pursuit TME and his WIAC results. So you can understand how to calculate your own. At least you should be able to calculate for your Jam and your WIAC as of now, pending when the Pursuit TME for the school is going to be conducted. Okay, so look at this guy. A candidate had 202 in jam and his O level goes goes this way. So uh, maths is B3, chemistry is C4, biology B2, English C5, physics C6, economics B3, geography A1, and had 17 over 13 in the pursuit TME. I guess this student is a really large student because I really like grades that pursuit TME over 13. What would be his real screening score? That's the question. Okay, so like we say. Um, the first thing we need to do, his jump is 202, so how do we get his score? 202 divided by 8, and that gives us 25.52. Okay, so he's scored 25.52%. So, um, his positive is already graded um, over 30, so he scored 17, so we don't need to do any adjustments. So, his score is um, 17%. Then the next thing to grade is his YEC. Now, notice they gave us a list of his YEC results, so we're going to match them to the point system. Now, for his YEC, you can now see B3 is 3.2, C4 is 2.8, B2 is 3.6, C6 is 2.0, and C5 is 2.5. Now the total is 14.1. Now imagine if he had scored A1, he would have been getting 444, and that would have increased his chances. So that now stresses the emphasis that you need to do very well in your YEC. Read hard, make sure you leave no stone unturned. Do not assume that C6 is enough for you. A1 is far better now. Okay, so now we've gotten all his result system in points. Now we can now say his YX score is 14.1, his post TME score is 17%, and JAM score is 25.25%, which now brings us to his total final screening score as 56.35. Can I blow your mind? The minimum score you must get to secure admission into any school is 40%. Now you can now see. If the student had scored 20 in his YEC and maybe in his pursuit TME he scored 15, um, he scored, let's assume, 20. You can already see that he has already gotten 40 even without his jam. So with the 20 in jam, I can guarantee you this student will secure his admission. So you can now see how important your pursuit TME and your YEC is. So please do not take it for granted. You need to be studying this period. Get, your, get back to your books, study very well, go online, search for past questions for your post TME. Okay, so we're going to be discussing how to prepare for your post TME. Yes, now like I said, um, there is lockdown this period and you need to understand that this is preparation period. You need to use this period to prepare because a whole lot of students are doing well. I hope you are aware that a whole lot of people did very well in jam this period. So you'll be competing with the best minds, people who had high scores. So you need to prepare very well. So the first step we're talking about here is get the post me past questions for your desired school. Now, go online, search for this post me results, call people in your school, get to the school when the lockdown is over, go and buy the post me results. We'll also be posting the post me results online and that's why we're still insisting you subscribe to the link so that when we release the link or the video about it, you can know where to get it from. So, get the post me past questions. When you get the post me past questions, you begin to understand how the questions are going to look like that day. You begin to relax your mind. You begin to roll out fear. You begin to build confidence in yourself. Okay, secondly, um, get to know the style they use and the subjects they are writing for your faculty. For instance, Unilag does English, Math, and General Studies. Some other schools do your jam combination. So it's very important you get to um, know the style the school is actually using to write theirs. Then um, next is join a tutorial and keep attending classes. Yes, we understand there is a lockdown this period, but you can still get your books, still study the same thing you've been studying in jam. When you get the guidelines from the past questions, then you can now know where to concentrate on and build, build your strength. Please study, study, study. It cannot just be overemphasized. Being a, developing a very good study habit, it's very good. Like it will help you. It's gonna pave way for you. 
So please try and study. At least spend four to six hours per day studying. You can't do very well in jam, and your procedure will not be a mess up. It's not your portion. Okay, so um, screening methods. Several schools have several screening methods, and we're going to be discussing it in a second. So um, the first thing you need to know is visit your school website to know the date and the required amount of fee. Now, every school you want to attend in, in this country has a website. Now, it's very important you visit that website daily, get to know their website, get to know when the post me form is going to be out, get to understand the amount and get to know the date when they are doing the post me get to understand all the things that is required from you. This is very important. My advice to you is get to know your school website and bookmark it on your phone. Visit it at least two to three days regularly it's very important because that's where all information about the schools are also are being placed also get to have a contact of somebody who is actually attending that school and also call the person from time to time because they get the first hand information too once the um, um screening date and screening date is announced okay so the next thing it's some schools do screening tests while others just do interview now i can tell you unilag does screening test and um lasso do not so you need to know what style your school is adopting if they're adopting screening tests follow it up if they're adopting the interview system follow it up so get to know for instance i can tell you there's a school in the east in the south is michael opera university they normally adopt the interview system now my advice if you're going for that school dress up very well if you have a suit, wear it. If you're a lady, don't wear a trouser. Just understand that this is our culture for now. So dress corporately, go there because they are going to be looking at your appearance, they're going to be looking at your dressing, they're going to be looking at your countenance, they're going to be looking at your self confidence. So you need to show them that you're the right candidate um, for the admission. So it will just be a pure interview. They're going to be asking you some basic questions about yourself and in less than 5-10 minutes they are done with you. So you can't afford to fidget. You can't afford to show fear. You need to build yourself with confidence and your dressing is very important. For the guys, wear your suit. If you don't have a suit, get a tie with a shirt and your trouser well tucked in. Okay, so um, we also be posting screening dates um, so you can subscribe if you want to stay updated so we'll be posting some school screening dates when they are out so we like we said we'll be keeping you informed so like we said subscribe to our channel so that you can get this information okay so finally ooh, we'll be raising a video of federal schools that will give you admission with scores between 120 to 220 still giving you your you your desired course of study to get more updates please subscribe yes a whole lot of people did not do well in jam some people did extremely well and are going for the top schools which are the likes of unilag uniport futo unn abu ui oau these schools yes they are high profile schools but i can guarantee you even with your low score in jam we can tell you some list of federal schools that will give you admission with your low score yet so many of you have been asking me that questions online now i'm ready to answer it but before you can get the answer to that question click subscribe again like i said so that you can get this information like we'll be posting it online so that you can know this list of schools the faculties that have been operated so that you can know which course or which department to apply for now like i said yes we understand that the lockdown is really affecting a whole lot of people people can go out and that's why we are going to be doing a giveaway very soon and this giveaway are for only people who are subscribed to our channel so once you click subscribe we'll be doing a giveaway of data about 500 mb to about 50 students so for you to participate in this um giveaway free giveaway please you need to subscribe to our channel so thank you and god bless